it's awesome to have uh, fans and Kiwis out here supporting us and just for the training session mate, it's quite refreshing um, and I'm sure the lads loved it when we were doing uh, our fitness test and having the support behind us so um, it's it's real nice to see the, to see, to see the fans. It's a Tuesday morning and probably some kids have decided not to go to school I mean how, how do you love the fact that people just want to come and watch you guys train? Yeah we the, the boys weren't sure how many would turn up um, but as we were driving in we were quite surprised and we were quite surprised because they were going to watch us do our Bronco test so um, no, nah, it's, it's nice and it's, it's awesome to see the kids. I know if, the, if I was a kid and the All Blacks were training um, around my, my area, I'd take the day off school any, any day of the week. So, um, it's, no, nah, it's good to see and it's good to mingle and get around and um, say our thank yous uh, for their support. Were you expecting that sort of, uh, you know, turn out by the Sunshine Coast? You know, you always haven't really been here before. And were you expecting that? Uh, no, well, funny enough, my first, my first um, game as a Hurricane was at this ground. Um, against the Reds, so it's nice to come back and um, and you know experience this. Uh, you know, seeing people around, being around Noosa and, and, and the Sunshine Coast, and bumping into Kiwis, it's uh, it's pretty uh, refreshing and it's nice to have a bit of home over here. Are you getting a bit of a tan on your sign? Have you gotten uh, you know down to the beach? Yeah, I've, I've been probably every day at the beach, mate. Um, really taking last week, just switched off from rugby, um, chilled in the sun, got a bit of a tan, as you can see. But yeah, the boys are loving it, mate. But this week is about getting some mahi in and prepping us for the next uh, couple of weeks coming up. So, dude, the next couple of uh, weeks bring you. Obviously, going to go over to the US soon. Um, have you played much football over there? Before? Um, played there against Ireland when we um, when we took the loss. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be pretty much a new experience for this whole team. So, um, we're banking this week's a very important week for us um, in terms of getting some mahi in and and kind of getting the rugby ball back in our hands and um, tripping us for USA and, and, and Europe tour. Especially the weather conditions here are a bit different to what you're used to back home. How did that sort of impact our training? Like today yeah. or training? Um, yeah, you don't, don't really think of it too much. Um, in Wellington, it's beautiful. It's like this every day in Wellington and back in, and back in New Zealand. <laughs> um, but uh, now nah, the boys love it. You know, we, we train and then the boys are able to just walk down to the beach or. Um, hang out in the pool and, and just switch off so uh, it's beautiful um, but yeah it's cool. It's been a while since you've been able to play some of these European sides particularly with COVID I mean uh, have you sort of kept an eye on how they've been going I mean um, the, the, the game against France particularly I mean that'll be a big clash in Cup and Wales as well. Yeah uh, to be honest mate I've I haven't actually had a had a look or kept an eye on on the team so far um, I think I will us as a team will worry about that the coaches will be keeping an eye on them uh, we're just kind of taking it week by week. Um, that's our kind of mindset each day as it comes, um, as it's a long tour. So if we think too far ahead, it, it can get quite draining. So we're just taking it week by week and focusing on what, what's what's ahead. And USA, there's talk of a really big crowd turning out for that. And there's even a whispers that Joe Biden himself might go to the game. I mean, that's got to be good for rugby. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, mate. Um, <laughs> it would be awesome to see. I know the last time we played at Soldier Field, it was sold out and packed out. So be awesome to see um, a packed out stadium as well and I think it's good for the game it's good for rugby to you know expand in the, in the USA and um, so um, the boys are really looking forward to it. Did you enjoy the rugby championship I mean uh, there's some quality test matches particularly against South Africa there for you guys? Yeah well you know the whole rugby championship um, you know was challenging and it was fun you know we, we kind of prepped for it um, and you know we slipped up right at the end against South Africa and they were quality um, but you know, that's the past, it is what it is and we're kind of looking to, to learn from it and grow from it and, and move forward. I'm guessing this is all a big lead up for you guys for the, for the World Cup as well, a big campaign for the next couple of years? Yeah, I, I guess so, you can say that. Um, my, my mindset's this year. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think about World Cup, who mate. Who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, who knows what's <laughs> going to happen. It can change tomorrow, mate. So, um, now nah, the boys are great, um, you know, we're in a good mindset. Like I said, mate, we're just taking each day, each week, and just living life, going with the flow. How's the family going on? Family? Yeah, they're... No, that's a great question. Not many people ask that uh, when I get interviewed. They're good, thank you. Um, you know, we're lucky enough, you know, we're in Wellington, so I think we're in level two or something, so they're able to see family and, and stuff. And I still miss them, but um, like all the other boys with their families, it is challenging at times, but uh, we just got to keep moving forward. And I know we're here for a purpose, and and to represent our country and our families.
Thanks, everyone. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Steve.